Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the brand new ColourPop and Ulta Cabana Club collection. Now, I'm super excited because this was totally unintentional, but you're going to get to see two different looks, two different, two very different looks today um, because I decided to film my entire video and then I was starting to edit and I totally realized I forgot to do an intro. Now, mind you, it is almost 110 degrees here today, so as soon as I was done filming, I went in, I took all my makeup off, I changed out of my dress into like just like house for out clothes, like just trying to stay cool. And then I realized that I didn't do any sort of an intro for my video. So here we are. Um, this look is a much lighter, like, I guess you could go say we did like a daytime to nighttime look. Um, but if you want to see, well, actually, I don't show you how I got this look. I just threw this on for the intro. But um, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you will see like step by step how I got the other look that I do. Um, I'm going to do some comparisons because I know online I've heard similarities to the Malibu uh, Barbie palette. I've seen people say that it looks like the Lizzie McGuire palette. So we are going to do some swatch comparisons. I'm even going to do some comparisons with the eyeliners in this collection. Um, so if that sounds like something you're interested in or you just want to see everything in real life from the ColourPop collection because I've got all of it except for two of the blushes because I have a ton of the blush sticks and I knew I wasn't going to wear the Bright Fuchsia one. Um, my store didn't have the coral one so I did pick up the warm nude one but I feel like if you have one blush stick, you have them all. They're very, very similar. Um, they don't really end up looking how they look in the little roll-up thing anyway. So, yeah. We're going to just jump right on in and get started, but first check out my really cool intro. So let's start getting ready. Um, I just want to mention before we get started, um, I did use the Soul uh, Face and Body Makeup um, on this one shoulder, if you can see, um, because I do have some stretch marks um, on my shoulders that drive me nuts. Um, I didn't use it on this side. So I just want to give you guys a quick comparison um, for coverage. It does not provide that much coverage at all. Um, I also want to show you I did finally try it on my legs, which is what I initially purchased it for. I'm going to pop up um, my before picture right now and then um, after, and I did use the um, brush that they sold with it, So and I follow the directions. So if you're getting this or wanting to purchase this to cover say a tattoo or maybe a dark varicose vein or something like that, just know that it's probably not going to, it's definitely not going to give that to you. So it does, however, look really nice on the face. I'm actually going to use this today. It may not be a perfect match to my body, but I want to show you how it works on the face since I'm like bashing how it works on the body. Um, I turned my air conditioner off for this. So I'm going to try to go really fast because it's literally 113 degrees today in the Pacific Northwest, and we don't get weather like that, so I'm literally melting. Um, but I'm going to do my very best to get through this because I really want to show you this collection. So um, I already primed my face with the Rare Beauty uh, Primed and Poreless, the, the newer one. Came out maybe like a month and a half ago. I'm gonna go like whoa it's not like so these only came out in like I think eight colors like two colors per like skin tone so like fair light medium and tan or something like that um so it's not a hundred percent like perfect match it's supposed to kind of go with your skin tone and you know work for a variety of different undertones um I find it to be slightly yellow for me to be honest um, but when I blend it in pretty good, I, I like the way that it ends up looking on my skin. I would be really happy if they ended up, um, like releasing a few more like color options for this because I think the finish it gives is really nice and it's supposed to be like kind of, a, um, I don't know what that was, a little bit like water resistant, um, and transfer resistant and all that and I love all of those things for summer 
you know, especially if you're gonna be like outside or at the beach and you just want, you know, um, to even out your skin tone and have some light coverage. And as you guys know, cause I talk about them all the time, I have these dark spots on my cheeks. I don't know what this is. It's literally like this little red area with like a little raised spot in the middle. It's not a zit. I have no idea what it is, but it's been driving me crazy. It just kind of like showed up the last couple days. So I am going to attempt to get a little more coverage over that with some concealer. But yeah, other than that, I don't have any sort of a problem with using the face and body um, foundation on my face. You, I definitely, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't want to take the time to put it on my body. For the amount of coverage that it provides, if that makes any sense. I'm going to turn this fan on low, you guys. You'll hear like a slight buzzing and I apologize. But it's the only way I'm going to be able to <laughs> do this. And I went and got this collection at like when they opened this morning. Because I wanted to do this video and get it up for you guys. Because I heard like, well, I was looking on Trend Mood. And a lot of people were like, oh, it's like Barbie 2.0. Which I'm going to show you. Um, some comparisons and like side-by-side -side photos and then other people said that it looked like the Lizzie McGuire palette um, so yeah I have both of those so I'm gonna show you after we you know we get our face face on here so that's good enough I hope that you can see it's just it's not super high coverage by any means um, but it does even out my skin tone I think the finish looks really nice I'm gonna take probably too light but I'm gonna take some of my Kosas concealer I use the just the number one shade and I'm just gonna try to like give a little more coverage to that spot because it is driving me bonkers ah, okay so how are you guys doing today I am so excited it's been such a good weekend I was able to get my hands on the lethal is dead Teresa's dead and lethal cosmetics uh, collab I'm super stoked. I'm kind of jealous because Yachty Beauty, shout out to Yachty Beauty. I always watch her channel. Um, she lives in Dallas and the storefront for Camera Ready Cosmetics um, is literally 20 minutes from where she is. And one of her subscribers told her that, that that was the case. And so she literally was able to order it and pick it up same day. So she already put a video out on it. So if you are like super excited about that collab and you want to see... Um, like swatches and her use it and create looks and see how the liners work and all that you definitely should check out her channel I have a whole box of lethal stuff um, But I haven't done a video on it yet because I order so much stuff. I just get overwhelmed and behind but um Anyways, yeah, check that out if you want to see that so I got that collab I'm super super excited about that and then this collection came out um, and then they restocked a couple of the enchantment palettes on the Shine by SD site that I really wanted and that I wasn't able to get last time. So I got that. So it has been a full weekend of collecting makeup and I'm super excited. So um, now that I have that on, I don't want to powder or put any sort of powder on before I use this blush stick. Because my experience with the blush sticks is... They work better uh, when you haven't put the powder on. So I only picked up one of the colors. I picked up Rum Runner, which is a warm nude pink is how it's described. Um, there, I'll pop the picture up here. There's also a uh, coral, which my store didn't have, uh, which is fun. I mean, they were literally putting it out. They had one of everything, and I, <laughs> and I bought it. Um, and then there's a bright fuchsia pink, which I didn't buy that because I knew I there's no way. I'm, I just don't wear those kinds of colors up. Uh, blush nothing wrong with those colors if that's what you're into but on me it looks ridiculous so I am just going to let's see um what brush do I want to use I'm just gonna take what is this it doesn't have anything written on it so this is one I just picked up off of Shein it's just kind of like a dense like kabuki dome type brush and I'm gonna just kind of go over the blush stick like so and get product on there and then I am gonna just wipe some off of my hand just to get it blended in and I'm gonna go straight into my cheeks I should have put on bronzer first but I'm like too excited I want to see what this looks like I could always go in with more but oh I am so excited you guys I love this color and <laughs> I feel like my dot now that I covered it up looks purple I should have just left it alone 
Okay, so this is Rum Runner. I love the color. We may go in and add a little bit more in a second. I'm going to just throw on some bronzer super quick since I totally like forgot about it. Um, so we have a couple to choose from. We have Makeup by Mario. I have the stick, which is probably, I don't want to use that right now. Um, I am going to just use this because this has been my favorite lately. This is the Glowish bronzer from Hood. Huda Beauty and I did pick it up in light which is funny because I've seen lots of other videos on it and most of the people's that are light have way more of the like the cream color showing so mine is pretty dark for a light um but it's fine I just love the finish on it I'm just gonna use this complex culture uh push press and set bronzer brush just gonna kind of stamp some in under there I'm not gonna worry about the rest of my face or like you know perfecting my entire face I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of color because this is all about the Colourpop Coco Cabana and Ulta collection we'll do the little like make our face look skinnier though I mean we can't skip that step can we and then I like to, since I'm so white, I like to take whatever's left on the brush and just kind of wipe it down my chest. Okay, so let's move on, shall we? Um, now that I have the bronzer on, I think we have enough blush. I'm just going to just stamp it a couple more times because, you know, blush is really in and I don't see anything wrong with blush. Plus, we're going to put some powder over it and we'll just tame that down a little bit then. Hopefully my little spot, and I like to do my nose too. <laughs> Sorry if I'm looking over here, but that's where my mirror is, and I don't want to like look completely crazy. So for right now, I'm going to just roll this back down and put it away. Can we just say something about the packaging? It is so cute. It has the little hibiscus flowers there at the top. I love it. I love like the pink, like the kind of corally pink. I love everything about it. So now that I have that on, I'm just going to take some translucent setting powder. You can use any brand. It really doesn't matter. This is a little thing I have of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. But I also have the Haley's Beauty Powder, which is only like 12, 13 bucks. And I'm, it's a dupe. It's literally exactly the same. If I dumped it out on the counter and said pick which one is which, like you couldn't. And they look exactly the same as well. I'm just going to put a light... Sorry about that. Light dusting of powder over my eyelids just in case we have some fallout and hopefully we can just like easily brush that away. So that's all the powder I like to use because I am older and I just don't like my skin to look super dry, especially not in the summertime. Ooh, and remind me when we're done, I got this Catrice Prime, what is it? Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. I want to try that at the end too. So... I'm gonna try not to forget. So the next thing, let's see, should we do the lipsticks first or should we do, let's just do the palette. So this is what the palette looks like. She's super cute. I'm gonna, um, as I'm talking, I'll just pop up some pictures here. Um, it does not have a mirror, which I love because it helps me show you guys <laughs> without the reflection. The packaging on all of this collection is super beautiful. Um, I did take individual swatches, so as I describe each shade, I'm going to throw the video up. So, we have High Season, which is the soft metallic gold. Then we have Rattan, which is the soft warm matte beige. Bikini is the warm matte pink. Cool Off is the metallic turquoise. Um, Go Bananas is the Vibrant Canary Yellow. Copa Cutie is the Metallic Pinky Coral. Limelight is the one that they described as the Metallic True Gold. Then we have Bahama Mama, which is the Bright Metallic Tangerine. And then we have uh, Take It Easy, which is a Matte Warm Terracotta. Throw Shade, which is a Deep Matte Plum Brown. We have Cha Cha Cha, which is a matte warm violet, and then we have Pool Party, uh, which is described as a rich matte navy blue, and as you can see in this swatch, it is a beautiful navy blue. It's so nice, not patchy or anything. Okay, so now that you have seen each shade swatched out, before I throw some on my eyes, let's just throw, show you guys some comparisons. So I filmed these earlier, so I'm just going to put them up. So first I'm going to show you the side-by-side -side of the What Dreams Are Made Of palette and the Coco Cabana palette. 
I did just take a photo of these. And then I didn't even like swatch these out comparing them because I didn't think these had as many shades in common as the Malibu Barbie one. So let's throw up the picture of Malibu Barbie and Coco Cabana side by side. Now, as you can see, there are, you know, some differences. Like we don't have any of these like dark plums or navies in the Malibu Barbie palette whatsoever. So that does kind of separate them. However, I did find seven out of the 12 shades in Coco Cabana did have a pretty similar corresponding shade in the Malibu um, Malibu Barbie palette. So I'm gonna put that video up here. Um, I, well, first I'll show you the picture. So uh, the Coco Cabana is on top and the Malibu Barbie palette's on the bottom. And as you can see in the swatches, there are a couple shades that are slightly different in undertone, but for the most part, if you have the Malibu Barbie palette and you're not really into the darker shades like the navy and the plum, then you really probably don't need to pick this up unless you're a collector like me and you're going to buy it anyway. So now that we have that out of the way, I want to just talk about the liners super quick. So there are three liners in this collection. Liners are At Sunset, which is kind of a coral. We have Crystal Crush, named after me. Ah! No, is this pretty blue, pretty blue right here? And then we have Plum Smash, um, which is this beautiful purple plum shade. Um, I'm gonna throw up these swatches. I showed, put these on my arm. And then I also wanted to just show you guys, if anyone was curious, I pulled the three liners that I already owned from ColourPop that I felt were the most similar in color. Um, and I'll put that picture up now. They're not like identical dupes by any means, but if you already do own these colors and you're okay with that, and there's not a whole lot of difference, maybe slightly in the undertone, then you wouldn't need to pick those up. But I wanted to show you just in case because I just love seeing like comparisons from previous releases. It's just kind of like what I like to do. And then last but certainly not least, this collection has three lip tints. These are like my favorite because as you guys know, if you've been on this channel before, I'm not a huge super fan of lipstick or things that I can really feel on my lips a whole lot. And so these, this formula is, are some of my favorites. Um, we have Coral Kiss, Rose Away, and Pink Flamingo. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get a whole lot of use out of Pink Flamingo. It looks pretty bright. Um, I'm going to pop the swatches up here. Um, but I wanted to get it. So we may just um, end up wearing this one today just for the video just to see like how fun and bright it is. So now that you've seen everything in the collection, I'm going to go ahead and just put some stuff on my face some stuff on my face. I'm going to put this collection on my face and we're going to test it out. Um, I am going to attempt to use these today. I've been seeing a lot of creators using these e.l.f. Um, eye safe makeup tapes and I like to cut them in half. You get 40 in here, so like 20 sets of them, but I don't need a tape that's this long to do an eye look. Um, so cutting them in half works great. These are really nice, especially if um, you know you already have like your face done and you um, you don't want to get makeup all over your face, especially if you're going to use a color, like a deeper color in your outer corner. So I just try to leave enough room for my under eye color and attempt to get them at the same angle. <laughs> so one day, oh my gosh, true story. So one day I like, I wasn't like paying super attention when I put them on and they were completely different angles. And when I peeled them off, it looked so bad. Let me turn this down just so my phone like doesn't beep again. Not that anyone really messages me other than my kids, but you know, you know how it is. Okay, so I am going to, do you guys think I still have enough blush on? Like, I don't know. The spot is driving me nuts. It almost is like, like a bursted blood vessel or something. Oh, I don't know. It is so, so hot. Okay. I'm going to turn this off if because I don't want it to bother you guys. Um, I should have prepared better. So let's show the palette one more time. I'm trying to decide what kind of a look I'm going to go for. I don't want to do like a super, you know, out of this world look. I do really love that orange. You guys know that the orange is probably calling my name. But I want to try the purple. Hold on. We're just going to try this purple tint on and I'm going to probably wipe it off because I want to do a look with the pinks and the oranges and the golds. Let's just see how nuts this is. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay. 
Hmm. It's, I mean, I don't think this is like a daily wear for me or anything. But I might get some use out of it if I was doing like a fun purple look. I didn't like put it all over because I'm just going to wipe it off really quick. But okay. See, now I got that out of my system. I can go back to uh, my huge. So this one, this, this is the, what is this one? The Coral Kiss. So wanting to like get stuck in that little like fold of skin right there. This is called Coral Kiss, and this is the one I thought I was gonna use, but it's actually quite um quite red. Let's see how predictable I can be. Let's go in with the rose way, the more nude one. I tried, you guys, I really tried, but I have to have this on low. Whew. I have the air conditioner turned off because I tried filming with it on and it was just way too loud. So this is the Rose Way. This is the nude lip crayon. It is still quite pinky for a nude, but this is the one we're definitely going to go with today. I love when these are fresh and they have like the nice little point on them. And of course you can go in with lip liner if you want like I just feel like these are for when you're doing like a light makeup day and you know I don't always like do all steps every single day so I love that color it's definitely now that I have that on I feel like I need more of the blush so I'm just gonna grab where did you go here you are we're just gonna grab a teeny bit more of that blush because now that I have it on my lips I feel a little pale what why does that look so much darker on in the video than it does when I'm looking in my mirror that is so weird okay just tone you down with a little there we go perfection okay so i am just going to grab um what is this my sigma e37 and i am going to start with <sighs> i'm gonna go in with rattan just as my transition shade actually i'm gonna mix a little bit of rattan with a little bit of that yellow which is go bananas Kind of like a little mixture of the two. And I'm just going to go right into the crease. Focusing the majority of the pigment on the outer section of my eye. And then just bringing it in. I mean, I know you guys aren't watching this for the tutorial. You're probably just watching for the swatches. Or you may not even still be here. <laughs> if you are, thank you for sticking around. I really, really appreciate it. If you are new and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I am trying to post more frequently. This last month, like, I've really sucked. Like, I usually were doing, I previously was doing, like, two to three videos a week um, for this last, like, entire year, if not occasionally more. And then, I don't know, I was just, like, going through <laughs> some stuff. Mentally, I feel like I just needed like a little break and now like I am back and I'm ready to go and I have so much exciting stuff to share. So yeah, do these look even? It's hard kind of like mixing the two colors. I feel like it was a little bit difficult um, just to try to get the same amount of each. But I feel like they, we are pretty good there. So now I'm going to go in with just a little smaller brush. This is the Sigma E45. Looks like that. And I'm going to... I wish there was a... Like a matte orange. But I'm going to go into this shade here. This Take It Easy. It's kind of like a... What they say? A terracotta color. I'm going to get that on my brush. There is... If anyone 
cares about that. There is quite a bit of kick up like in the pan. Um, but I mean, I, and I see it on the tape here, but I don't have any under my eyes yet. So I'm just gonna take this slightly underneath where I laid the transition shade again, starting at the outer corner with the majority of the pigment and then bringing it in. I like that shade, that shade's like nice. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, focusing it in the outer and then bringing it all the way in. And I'm gonna blend like this top part out with just a brush with nothing on it, just to soften that line. Um, but I feel like I still wanna deepen it up a bit, so I'm gonna go into this shade next door here. This one, it's hard to see because the shade names are in gold. Throw shade, how <laughs> perfect, okay. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this kind of plum, plum brown and just focus it right here on the outer corner. I'm not gonna bring this one all the way in because I just want to get some depth here. Okay, so I don't know if it's user error which it probably is. I mean, it is a dark plum shade, so I feel maybe just a little bit of patchiness. Like you might want to, instead of laying it and blending it, just putting it, applying it where you want and then trying to maneuver it a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I know for the side, I just want to press in the pigment where I want it to be first right along that tape there and the outer V of my eye and then kind of do my little bit of blending. <laughs> okay, I am definitely happy with my mattes. Um, um, what shimmer should we use? Actually, I'm going to go in. I'm going to take just a big, clean, fluffy brush. This is a refer number 16, and I'm just going to use that just to soften these edges here. Blow that out a little bit without extending it too much. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it made sense in my head. Okay, I really, really like the way that that turned out. So I don't know what you guys like to use for shimmers, but the Refer 21 brush is actually made for cream and shimmer products. And I find that for me, it works really good. Sometimes it doesn't always work. I usually will sometimes have to go in with a finger and pack it on, especially if I want that really kind of like wet, shiny look. Um, but let's just see how the these perform with the brush first. And then if we need to, we can go in with um, you know, some setting spray or something like that. These are quite uh, dusty <laughs> shades. I'm gonna put the orange all over the eyelid and then to brighten it up where I want to brighten it up, I'm gonna go in with the gold shade. So I feel like it's applying pretty well. Oh my God, I forgot glitter glue. <gasps> oh well. well. We'll do glitter glue on the other side just so you can see the difference i mean i think it's going on really well but um the only thing i would worry about with this would be like the longevity without the glitter glue so let me just throw some glitter glue on this side over here and we'll see we'll see what a difference it makes so you don't need that much i just use the nyx the six dollar stuff which is funny because, I mean, like, I think Too Faced has one that's like 20 some odd dollars. 
And Gimme Glow has one that's like $8. I like theirs. It's totally like a different style formula. It's not like opaque. It's kind of like a clear... Um, it's like glycerin and then like some sort of adhesive polymer in it, but that one's really nice too. Okay, so we got the glitter glue on that side. Let's go in with the same shade and just see if it makes a huge difference or not. This eye is always the hardest for me because I'm right-handed. So I'm just packing that on. You can definitely tell it's a bit more bright, vibrant on the side with the glue, that's for sure. I w I'm gonna lift this palette up and show you though in a second um, how much fallout there is in the pan, my goodness. And don't give me shit about the funny faces I'm making. I feel like we have a little bit of fallout under our eyes, but look how much more vibrant that side is. Yeah, you can really, <laughs> really tell the difference there. But I think both sides look nice. So now I am just going to, yeah, they're like a little bit different. I'm going to take, go back to that, where did my little Sigma brush go? Um, back to that E45 and just take a little bit more of the throw shade, the darkest shade. And just kind of stamp that back in there and kind of blend it just to get some of that depth back. Do that on the side as well. All right, and then I'm gonna take my E16, or my E16, my rougher number 16, and just, again, soften up. Kind of blow out that edge a bit. And right where the shimmer mixes in, I'm gonna just kind of soften that line too. Okay, so then we're just going to, I'm going to just use my finger for this part. I'm just going to go in. I want to show you the pan really quick. Can you guys see just how dirty that got just with the one use? I mean, it's easy to clean. You just do that. But I just wanted to show you. So I'm going to take some of that brightest gold here, this limelight. And I'm just going to take my finger and kind of put some of this. Um, right in the middle just to kind of brighten that up just gonna tap to kind of blend in oh yeah that's what this look needed just kind of tapping and lightly blending so we don't have any real like harsh lines Maybe just a tad bit more on the side. All right, I am super happy with that look. Let's pull off these tapes and then we will. Ooh, look at that line, you all. <laughs> These are amazing. I'm like a huge fan of these elf tapes. I didn't know if I told you guys before, but they're $3 for that pack. And the when I cut them in half, I get 40 uses out of them. So not bad. And if you don't want to order them off the elf website, Amazon has them for $6. But it's kind of worth it 
if you just want like that one thing and you want to get it like the next day if you have amazon prime like you can do it so for the lower lash line who i don't know that i want to do that super super dark throw shade shade maybe we'll do kind of like a mix of that with the lighter brown I think I just want to stick with the lighter brown to be honest where is my little freaking refer pencil brush I can't find my refer so we're gonna use the Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm just going to it's quite the warm look so I'm gonna go into take it easy which was this um, terracotta brown right here and I'm gonna get some on that brush and since I have older skin I'm gonna just lightly pull it taut 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 what is it I don't know and put that on my lower lash line it's not showing up nearly as dark as I thought it was going to okay then I'm gonna take I'm gonna mix that shade with a little bit of the throw shade shade and see if that looks any better because I want there we go I didn't want it to be too dark but I mean it needed to match and meet up with the top so I feel better about that that really whoa how'd I get eyeshadow all, all the way up there so I just wanted to I know it looks like a little bit crazy but once we get mascara on it'll be fine yeah I like that okay so we decided on mixing a little bit of throw shade with that other and just putting that along the lower lash line I went down too low on that side and I look ridiculous let's clean that up a little bit I get comments and eyes about how I hang my mouth open when I do anything with my eyes, but when you got chubby cheeks, you gotta pull those cheeks down because they get in the way. Alright, so I'm gonna add some mascara. I will be right back. And I'm back. So um, I did just take some of the Crystal Crush in the waterline here. I thought it looked really good since I did, like, you know, more orangey look on top. And they're, like, opposites on the color wheel. So it was complimentary. I think that really helped my eye color pop because I have blue eyes. Um, I did use the, this is just my little sample, but I do have the full size. This is the Armis Beauty Straight Up Peptide Mascara. It is my current favorite mascara um so i do have that on my upper and lower lashes i threw a little my eyebrows need done so don't judge me but i threw a little bit of the kosas um, airbrow through my crazy eyebrows um and then i just added a tiny bit more bronzer um i feel like i don't know now that the look's done i feel like my lips kind of too pinky i'm just gonna go in with the uh coral kiss and throw some of that tint on yeah I like that so I just kind of mix it together I was really honestly hoping that the coral kiss would be um a little more orangey it, I mean it looks orange on the pictures I feel like on the website so but it's whatever because I have um like the orange lip oil and then the orange luxe lip gloss coming from the what collection did I just order I just got the lush life ordered that Thursday so it should be here this week too um so this is how the look turned out it's honestly like a little different of a look than i would have first thought when i looked at this palette um i want to do maybe another look where i stick more with just the lighter more like tropical colors um i think like with deeping it up or deepening it up i think i got quite a similar look as i got when i did where are you when i used the lust for dusk palette um, obviously I tend to like kind of gravitate towards the same color shades. I could definitely see that. Um, <laughs> neutrals with a pop of blue. 
But, um, yeah, you could definitely go in with, you know, and stick to just the lighter shades or even, like, just a one-and-done shade look if you want just a quick on-the-go, like, summer look. Um, but for this video, this is what I ended up with. So I hope you liked seeing how everything works, seeing all the swatches, the comparisons. Um, I definitely think... Um, when it comes to the Barbie collection, if you're not into the darker shades and you just want it for the top, if you have this, you probably don't need it unless you're a collector and you want it. Um, again, I don't see a whole lot of similarities with this because this has like the lime greens, which this doesn't have any of that at all. Um, and more of like a lighter purple where these are like deeper plum shades and there's a navy in here. So um, I wanted to make sure that I compare like compare those for you guys because I know that those were questions. Um, the blush sticks, again, I don't think you need all three. Um, a lot of people, you know, gravitate towards like one, like some people like cool tones, some people like bright blushes, and then other people like basically just stick to like nudes and, you know, nude peaches, things like that. So just know which one you want. You definitely don't need all of them. Um, the blush stick, if I'm being honest, isn't my favorite ColourPop blush formula, but I do have quite a few of them since I've been buying um, all these collections over the last year and a half or so. Uh, the lip tints, though, I think I'll definitely get used out of all of them, at least a couple times anyway. That purple's really pretty. It's just not like an everyday color for me, but it would be fun, you know, if I was just going to the beach or something and I threw on like a lavender shadow with the purple chapstick. So I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, uh, I'll probably post some other looks like as I, you know, as I do them like over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, it'd be really cool if you did. It's just at crystalin91800. I think I have it linked in the description box below. If you want to find me over there and follow me, that's awesome. Uh, if you have not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my squad. And I am like sweating more than I should be. And well, not, not really. It's seriously 111. So... <laughs> Um, the air conditioner has been off for about an hour now that I've been filming and, um, it's time to turn it back on. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thank you for tuning into this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.